Uh, obviously, as a, as a childhood, well, someone that grew up in Gloucester, uh, it's an amazing experience. Like, local boy, couldn't really ask for anything more than ever to run out of Kings Army. You know, 7,000 turned out today. Uh, so, all the support there, family, friends coming to support me. So, just want to say thank you really to them uh, for giving the boys all the support. Um, yeah. And obviously, at this stage, it's all about development for you guys as players. Do you feel that there was a lot of development throughout that game for you? Oh, definitely. You know, we came across some sticky points. Uh, points was on top, but you know we found ways to get around it. Um, and yeah, we worked out on the pitch, um, and then we're just looking forward to World Cup now, regroup, um, and yeah, just try and work on the areas that you know went wrong today, and uh, also work on uh, areas that went well, um, and really progress. Sam Costello played well for the opposition team. Is he someone you've played uh, against in sort of under 18 setup? Uh, yeah, uh, Sam, me and Costello, you know, we played each other quite a few times, you know, quite often we have a bit of a slug off. Um, but no, yeah, he's a, like I said, you saw it today, he's a class player. Um, you know, me and him quite bounce off each other a bit, um, and that's what I really try for. Um, but yeah, he really pushes me on, um, which is what I can really ask for from an opposition turn. And you put in a great number of tactical kicks, is that sort of a part of the game that you pride yourself on? Uh, yeah, um, I've always sort of seen kicking as one of my strong points. Um, but yeah, uh, if the opportunities are, um, I'm happy to take it if the window opens. Um, but then again, I'm also aware of everything around me, so it's just sort of part of the game. A great deal of uh, travelling fans from Wales. And uh, how do you feel like the the the, uh, well, the immense uh, atmosphere impacted the game today at King's Home? Uh, the atmosphere, you know, the Welsh the Welsh supporters were loud, you could hear them definitely. Uh, the same with the English supporters, to be fair, the overall atmosphere was really loud. Um, but to be honest, when you're on the pitch, it just drives you on, makes you really motivated to do even more. Um, you know, when there's big collisions, when there's turnover balls, you know, you can really hear them and it really pushes you on to make a big difference. So the, you went behind in the first half, some heart for the boys to come back in, is that, is that something you've been working on a lot? Uh, yeah, you know, it's happened um, in France, we went behind in Scotland, you know, it was a tough, great game. We had so, sort of had the attitude of like, never say die, um, so, you know, it's not really over till the end of the whistle. So. We've been working on really working hard uh, to well, basically staying in the game the whole time and not switching off at any point. Obviously the coronavirus is going around at the moment, the Italy game's been postponed. Is that something that's disrupted your preparations for this game? Uh, no, not at all. You know, When we come into this week, we just want to focus on the Wales game, Wales game only. Uh, we don't want to look any further ahead. Uh, that's our priority. Um, so just making sure that we had our game plan and what we had, what we wanted to work on in this game. And in settled week, we didn't really worry about what was happening next week. Perfect. Thanks, George.